Hey, there we go. Is audio working now, I hope? If so, I can actually start playing. Is audio working now, I hope? Yep, there it goes. All right. I can go mute the other computer. Thank you for the response. All right. This can still work. Um, hello, everybody. Sorry about the delay start. Um, my SSD in my primary laptop died the other day, and I just got a replacement and have been frantically reinstalling everything and trying to get everything reset up, and DDO just will not load. I don't know why, but uh, I can log in, pick my server, and then it just sits there and then says, nope. Kicks me right back out. No errors, no nothing. So I'm a bit annoyed by that. But anyway, welcome to DDO's stream. This is Sue Morgan, part of the community stream team. Be here for the next couple hours trying to uh, get something done, I guess. I'm not really sure where I left off. I haven't played for a couple days because I said my SSD died, so I'm not even sure what was happening last time I was on. It's been a couple days. Uh, yeah. So I will endeavor to try to do some stuff. Hopefully entertain you. Um, I am watching chat, so if you have any comments or questions, feel free. I'm opposite of my usual setup here. I'm playing on the computer on the left and uh, trying to watch chat on the computer on the right. So don't have my gamepad set up. Well, game board, whatever they call it, the G13 set up on this computer. Um, I do, however, have a keyboard that I'm going to switch to here shortly. That'll make it a little easier than trying to stretch up to the uh, other laptop in the other seat over there. So yeah, between work and everything, and I didn't get the SSD and memory as soon as I wanted to and all that, it's been interesting trying to get ready for this. And uh, I did install DDO last night. Actually, I copied it from the other machine after doing an old high-res install. And it, I thought I logged in and it was okay. So I continued to keep installing everything else. And somewhere along the way, something got broken. I'm on Thalanus. I suppose I can type that out over here. Normally I have a thing on the screen that shows that, but I'm kind of running without all my plug and stuff that I normally do. As I said, this is a backup machine, so I didn't really set up. I just quickly downloaded OBS and got it going. So, here we go. That's the most depressing mail I can get is auction out bid. That's too bad see where we're at so in terms of groups. So I've played once, I think, since the uh, whole Champions went into play, so I haven't really experienced too much of that. Uh, our guild static group on Thursday night had a uh, few more deaths than usual. We actually had a challenge. Hello everybody, Ravenwolf the latest, I believe. Let me see if I can get this to where I can see the chat better. That looks a little bit better. Alright. See, I haven't done much with uh, champions being in play. Um, it was nice for our guild to not just walk through something, but actually have a challenge for once. We had been pretty much walking through most things except raids recently. And it mm, wasn't much of a challenge, we'll, sit, we'll put it that way. Champions did definitely add some sort of challenge to everything. 
If you'd like to group and plan Thalonis, feel free to let me know and we can arrange that. Otherwise, I'm just going to play a couple things here, get settled in. At least uh, start some gameplay since it's been oh, 20 minute delay since we started, or tried to start. I also just got back from the vet. Take the dog in. So between all that, I uh, apologize for starting late and not really being on the ball here. No, that's right. This is the SO's primary DDO playing machine, so things are set up a little bit differently than I prefer them. What do you want, dog? Dog's in my face. So anyway, so far, from what I've seen, I like the champions. Um, I sell them more, mostly on Epic Normal, so I don't really see expect to see too many champions there, but I do go into pugs with uh, the on the Epic Hards and occasional Epic Elite. Most of my guild, but occasionally a pug. Um, generally when I'm higher level than this. So we'll do plan on seeing more of them here and there. The graphics are turned way down on this machine, so it doesn't look as nice as I'm used to. Had an issue with intermittent lockups and delays and lags, so we're trying to put some stuff down to fix that. Just got a, another notice of an update on the other computer. Great. So yeah, when an SSD dies, it's pretty sudden. There's really no warning. Um, in this case, one day it was working fine. The next day, it was not. About five minutes after booting, it would just lock up. Or basically, as soon as I started doing something else, it start it would lock up. Which, since it's happened to me before, I kind of figured what it was. I'm gonna say it's probably the one I can't see right there. That was not it. This is a pain. Oh, it's that one there. I see it. I see the bit of yellow there. Yeah, some of them are uh, pretty rough. I think I like the idea of them so far, and the little bit I experienced. The only real complaint I have is that. I don't believe that a champion should hit bo harder than the main quest boss, and a couple of them do. I just don't think that's quite right. Yeah, they. some of them can do more damage than the regular mobs, but more than the actual boss, that's a little much, I think. I've seen some of the horror stories in the forums about people getting hit for high amounts of damage at low levels, and I don't necessarily agree with that either. Um, being one-shotted is never fun, especially if there's nothing you can do to avoid it. If there was something you could do to avoid it, I don't think it's quite as bad, but... I really haven't played my lower level characters or anything much since uh, they came out, so I'm not really going to say too much more about that. Uh, hopefully I'll get into some tonight and tomorrow, or uh, Thursday, on my Guild Static Night that we can see a little more about how they work. And those are lower level characters, I think they just hit 15 last week, so... 
Yeah, they can drop chests, although I noticed it was pretty much only the orange name ones that were dropping the chest as far as we were experiencing. Um, the yeah, extra chests are always good. At this point, I'm just happy that I got that Hunted Halls of Evening Star Epic Elite out of the way before they came out, because I barely survived that with somebody pretty much soloing it for us, uh, the group we had. And I can't imagine what it would have been with the champions. I did run the new free quests last week to unlock my uh, favor for the uh, Harper Agent tree, so I have that unlocked now, which I'm happy about. I do think Heroic Elite was getting too easy. Um, we kept coming about every week in our static group with the guild that we remember those quests being much, much harder, even at level. So I don't disagree that maybe Heroic Elite needed to be bumped up. Epic Elite difficulty was fine for me. Uh, we had just started getting some of those under our belts, but. Uh, yeah, it was on, uh, what was that mask, whatever the, the mask one was, I don't remember the full name of it at the moment, but, yeah, oops, I forgot power attack, I've been this whole time without power attack, am I even, nope, I wasn't even in stance, um, I ran it with this character on Heroic Elite, so level 25 with some epic gear, uh, ran the Heroic, Heroic Elite version in it. Yeah, the champions uh, made it interesting. I didn't just walk through every bit of it. Parts of it I did, but on the way back out, brute forcing it did not work uh, smoothly. Some of those guys started hitting back hard, or it wasn't difficult really. It was just more interesting than in. The I'm not VIP, so I had to run it three times in a row. And normal was it just nothing. It was an easy cakewalk. Uh, hard wasn't that bad. It was a little more, but not really much. But Elite with the champions uh, made it interesting. Yeah, I think that's one of the big things. I really expected less champions in any particular quest. It's a lot more than I figured there would be. I have been on a pretty good pace with this character to hopefully epic reincarnate fairly quickly, but uh, oh, technology. I used to love tinkering with machines and all that, but, uh, yep. Joey, I can see that easily happening. We went in with our normal, uh, bravado and our guild group and soon found out we, uh, had to be careful. All of a sudden it was different than we're used to. It really was. I was a monk who was used to just going and pretty much barehanding it all the way through anybody and all of a sudden I was getting put in my place. Getting hit really hard from some of them. Some of them just took a lot longer to come down and their little buddies around the around them got to me and of course the groups of three or four champions at a time started actually killing us um, so yeah it was a little different hadn't played quite that cautiously recently except if it was 
a raid. Maybe. If you use a lesser hard wood on a character that had TR, do you lose the extra remove only bank spot? You mean the TR cache? Is that what you're talking about? I don't know the answer to that. Because I've never TR'd. I've only ever green carded it. Hey, Titan. I've been mostly just reading books instead of doing this stuff, waiting for things to install and reading books. Had a couple issues. I also got some new RAM, so I doubled the RAM in the machine, as well as got the new SSD, which Got a heck of a deal on. I had a uh, Mushkin 240 gig SSDs in there, and or and a Mushkin 240 gig SSD that I had paid like you know a ridiculous amount of money f for four or five years ago. And the Intel I replaced it with same size, obviously new generation was only a hundred, so I was happy about that. Hey Killstorm, congrats Titan. Got everything set up and ready to go. And that's my cue to get ready to pummel some guys. What the heck, dog? Where he is? There he is. Yeah, I'm getting some serious slowdown and lag here. So again, welcome, thanks for watching. Hope y'all enjoy now that I'm actually playing. Yep. So there was an easy qu quick quest for 25k ish. Well, they did really increase the drop rate. I got another mirror cloak, which I just sold one before I did this. So still looking for that piece of the antique great axe, though. I need to go over a snitch for that, which I'll probably do now. Let's see if there's anything. Oh, there's a Vaughn going on. Hmm. E H phone. Mm. That uh, seems to suck, Demon Skull. I didn't realize that uh, any reincarnation triggered the timer. And they are in, so I'm gonna go ahead and go over to this Vaughn because. Yeah, a huge lag there. Vaughn definitely interests me. Good amount of XP. And I know I haven't played for three days, so I know I'm off timer. Oh my god. 
watch this lag. I need to see what might be causing the lag on the system because uh, it's kind of ridiculous. It's hoping I'd get that eight, eight, uh, eight gigs in the other machine and have it be nice and smooth. Hmm, that sucks. I'm not the only one on the quest, that's good. Alright, let's get in the quest and see what we have here. Probably take a break after this and get some water and maybe a little bit of a snack. I just got home, had work, and then uh, the vet for the dog, and really haven't had a chance to eat or have anything to drink or anything, so... I'm writing it, continuing to try to resolve the problem with uh, DDO on the other machine, but it hasn't happened yet, so I'll maybe start looking in the forum for some threads on what to do if you can't log in. Yeah, I am a 18 fighter to monk using Kensai to remain centered with great axes. And then for Epic Destinies, I've got uh, Sense Weakness Cocoon, and I forget what the other thing I have twisted at the moment is. I'm running in Grandmaster, I think, at the moment. It is nothing in particular. Um, this is my first character. So I had been sort of following a fighter build when I started, however many years ago that was. And then uh, took a break from the game, Enhancement Pass came, and the build was way out of date. So I just sort of followed what I kind of remembered that I wanted to do, which was Kensai. And then it, when I finally got to 18, I realized that, well, at the way I, I've been handling traps is to die, walk into them and die. So I need something for survivability. So that's why I went to Monk, because I knew I could get the uh, evasion from that. It would help a lot about survivability, which it did much more survivable now than I was before. Trade-off, of course, is that then Armor Up came out, and now I'm still wearing light armor instead of going back to the heavy armor I used to wear that actually could survive traps now, probably. But anyway, yeah, that's basically my build. I do have a highlight or a vid there's a video on my YouTube that goes over in more detail all the various aspects of my build, if you care about that, um, but I've given you the highlights at least. Let's see, it's time to go north, isn't it? No one's going north? Interesting. Has the run changed this much because of the champions? Normally be time for that. Oh, I don't even have party chat up, do I? Wow. Yeah. Pointless slowdowns for no apparent reason. Looks like they are going north now. Put my character sheet up there for a bit so you can see that if you're interested. Alright. 
Yeah, it's a heck of a delay there when that happens. Does somebody have the range, or is I supposed to get the range here? Yeah, the two monk just... I can't even express how many times I died to traps that now I don't. <laughs> it's nice not having to worry about that as much. Which I think... Are we going... Hmm... Do people miss the throwing? There we go. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's as obvious to you guys as it is to me how much I'm lagging, but... It's there. Lag exists, it's real. Yeah, and I'm still wearing the uh, Way of the Sun Soul set, I think it is, so I'm getting that whole benefit for being in stance and all that, which is nice. If I can get up here. Man, I am not used to this at all. Well, I did not make it. Completely not used to this. Between the lag and the controls being slightly different and not having what I'm used to, this is going to be a challenge, I think. Nope, still didn't get it. I can agree with that. I actually considered using my plus 20 heart to go Barbarian for a TR, but I'm still not sure what I want to do yet. I'm sticking with the Epic Reincarnations for now and not worrying about Heroics at all. Well, I'm not really doing any good over here. I'm going to miss a chest, but that doesn't really matter. And I don't think... It's not like they're not going to be able to deal without me, so... I'm going to prep for uh, going west again. After they do that, this... lag is just ridiculous. I don't know if it's local or... not, but it's not fun. Yeah, that's what I was figuring, the plus 30 hit points would be a good thing to have. So, yeah, this is my last martial epic part life thing, so I'll have that down after this. Um, hey, look, somebody didn't die, or they respawned. That's nice. Um, I'm probably going to go into Primal next, and then Divine, and then Arcane last is my plan at the moment. So we'll see. After that, maybe I'll do Iconics and then Heroics. We'll see. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's, I'm just unsettled. I'm not using my normal mouse, my normal keyboard, my normal laptop. Not all my settings are the same way, and just throwing me off my game a bit. <laughs> it 
So the lag, I know sh that my S has been having issues with spikes of something. That's why the graphics are so low. We tried to lower the graphics and let the machine relax a bit. But it doesn't look like that's really helping all that much. Oh, they are there. Just in case we've got champions, I'm going to wait for somebody else to help me through this. Yeah, the plus three up enhancement would also be nice. But I started with Marshall, so I went for the double strike and uh, figured that was the best thing since that's where I was at. I stuck at 28 for a while to max out all my destinies so I could have all the twists and such that I wanted. Well, then I bought a Tome of Fate, which, by the way, if you buy a Tome of Fate and you're not VIP, you actually have to go to the Fate Spinner and talk to them to make up your destiny before you can use it, which is really bizarre to me. But anyway, that's the solution if that happens to you. Remember, go to the Fate Spinner first, and then read your tome. I put in two or three different tickets before somebody finally... Not in relation to the tickets, somebody just finally said, Oh, I know what to do with that. You need to go to the Fate Spinner. I think it was a guildmate that told me finally. Because they had trouble with the same thing. No one else could understand what it, the solution was. But yeah, so I've got all my destinies maxed out so that I can have all those fate points. Which is nice to be able to twist some of the higher stuff in now that it's all open to me. Um, didn't really care too much about the different uh, feats that that opened up. There weren't too many that I really wanted. Um, I usually take... I was taking Silver Strike just because I didn't have my Thunderforge weapon yet, but now that I have that, that's pretty unnecessary. Um, which I now have a 22 and a 24 Thunderforge, which is really nice. I still need something for 20 to 22, though. That's why I want the Antique Great Axe pieces. Um, I have everything but the one last piece that I need. I think it's the seal. Whatever drops in Snitch. I, s I need that piece to uh, complete it. Then I'll have something from 20 to 22, 22 to 24, and then 24 to 28. At this point, I'm not planning to stay at or near cap, so I don't see the point in having another weapon higher. But definitely that lower one was necessary. It just, it's an amazing boost to your power at 22 and then 24. Let's see. I am confused what we haven't done. Oh, have we filled, killed those other guys? Like the cleaver, huh? Yeah, I uh, haven't touched my Raiders reward box, and I haven't run caught in the web or anything, so... Finally flagged for it. That took a while. But I haven't run it yet. Do 
I still have, why do I have feather fall on? That's, well, I'm going to need it now, but I didn't need it back there. So yeah, if you have uh, an SSD in your machine, make sure you have some sort of backup solution. Back all that stuff up. I had to try to pull my OBS stuff off of the SSD that it was on. I should try to, I guess I could try to pull the DDO stuff off too, it's just that that thing was having read problems, so I'm not sure how that would work. I guess it couldn't work any worse than it's doing now. Yep. Yeah, it's high, I, the one I'm playing on has 8, the one I normally play on now has 16, I doubled it. Yeah, by the time I get to the battle, start trying to swing at stuff, I lag, and then the battle's over, I don't know if I hit anything or not. <laughs> it's not fun. Alright, this is where I need to... Oh, so maybe cast Featherfall, that's nice. Oh, somebody got him already. By the time I get over there... This may be a short stream this week. This is annoying me. I'm very particular about uh, everything being set up and working like I like it. And this isn't. <laughs> Still, maybe it'll only be three instead of four or five hours this time. I do want to put in my time and get make sure people can watch and have a entertainment interactivity. But. Uh, as far as gameplay goes, just not doing it tonight. Which, by the way, that uh, Thunder Home's a great place to gain some XP. Put a couple potions on in a gr raid group with doing Slayers. And doesn't take too long to get up to the higher levels, get some decent XP going. started to get used to uh, the layout a little bit. I need to get, uh, I think, three more explorers to get the journals, get the explorer finished, get the map, which would help be really helpful. But uh, at the moment, you know, it works. I'm trying to get more sagas complete for when I I don't know if I want to do it now or on later reincarnated lives when I, like arcane ones, I really don't have uh, much in the way of benefits from them. Primal and Divine, I'm set. i got plenty of stuff that's good there, but uh, arcane, not so much. Might be worth running one arcane just to use up the Saga XP I have ready. I don't know. Haven't really tried it. Hadn't really done Sagas too much either. No, nope, it still went. In theory, that means we got it. We shall see. Yep. Wow, I almost ran off the edge there. Uh, yeah.
I was up late last night trying to get all this stuff installed. So I'm also kind of out of it today. Yeah, it's amazing what those two levels of monk and a twist do for you in terms of surviving the traps and such. Ah, ladder glitch. How about that? Yeah, I did explorers early on. I really haven't touched them much since. Um, when I first got to Epic, I did some explorers to try to get some levels out of that, and that worked a little bit, but. Than that. Can't remember what the last epic life was. It was a week and a half, two weeks, I think. Which is pretty good for me, considering that it took several years to get my character up to epic. I have no other characters up this high. I'm supposed to go to air. Okay. That's easy enough. I suppose I can meditate. Yeah, I might reinstall DD over here too. Well, once I figure out the other machine. Because something's odd. That pausing ever so often. I haven't really seen anybody else call out lag. It's happening way too often for me. Over here. Ah, oh, I gotta sign dice. That's the one I don't like. Ice, because of the uh, polar ray. I've died more times with polar ray. Just a lot of damage really quickly. And I've only got 15 cold resist at the moment. Looks like I'm getting hit, probably. It's really hard to tell. And nothing much out of that. Yeah, that happens sometimes. 
I know uh, some groups coordinate explicitly and I don't mind that you know they do assignments here I'm fine with that uh, some don't and sometimes you run into that where nobody's on a certain base and, uh, that's just oops I think that's the minimum amount of communication necessary. Is there at least somebody at going to each base? And if so, then we're fine. Some people like to coordinate everything as far as bases, but usually on Epic, everybody just says beat on until they're down. It doesn't take very long. Jin's back up. That's annoying. There we go. I'll just walk. I didn't notice any champions at all in the oh this is a raid, but still. Shouldn't there be champions in the raids too? Or are there no champions in the raids? that was part of it or not. Oh look, I'm going to die. How about that? My hot key for cocoon isn't working because the buttons aren't set up the same as I have them. And there we go, another dragon down. It's pretty ridiculous with Thunderforge getting a plus eight or whatever on top of the plus 10 it already is. The dragon bane. So tough. Alright, what the heck. Get me my loot. And there we go. Another uh, stone on plate. Oh wow, I'm gonna roll on that. Flawless red dragon skill. Can't complain about that. It's 
Search three to four. Hey, I'll take it. Let's see, I need to tell somebody thank you for the tome. Extra plus one for search, I think, is a pretty good pull. Thanks to Susel, Susel, something like that, for that tome. Mm -mm. Excuse me. Right, I'm gonna get out here, get my reward, go to the airship, and then I'll take a short break. Oh, I was at my twentieth. That was my 20th. Ha! I didn't even realize that was my 20th run. That's hilarious. I can get another Sword of Shadow. Another Hammer of Life. Really tempted to take the Sword of Shadow, but I've got Green Steel, Great Axe. I've got a Sword of Shadow sitting in my bank, waiting for the last piece of it got most of the rest of this other stuff, so I'm just going to take the comms, which is pretty sad. But, you know, whatever. Let's see. Raid. Completions. Should show me that... Yep, that was my 20th vault of night. How about that? Fun stuff. So yeah, um, let me get back to the airship real quick. I'll take a short break and I'll be back and we'll see what else we're going to do. Again, I'm on Thelanus. If you want to join, play, you can work that out. If you're on another server, I know a lot of the other broadcasters are on other servers. And, uh, yeah. You can find somebody there. Or, hey, you know, start your own broadcast if you want. That works too. Always want to repair. Before I, uh, so I don't forget. Don't want to walk into the next quest and be like, oh yeah, that's broken, that's cool. Not very. It's also a different. Uh, what do you call it? UI theme that I'm used to. Hey, you know what? It's not about how well you play. It really isn't. I don't consider myself that great of a player. Uh, I tend to know my l limits and stick within them most of the time. Except for Hunter Hall's Vegan Star last week. But, you know, that was just for the favor. It's more about, you know, the willingness to try and uh, interact with people, which it can be uh, a struggle sometimes to be playing and still interact with people. It's a balance to be able to do that. Sometimes I pull it off fairly well, I think, and other times I do not. Kind of depends on what I'm running. But yeah, it's taken me years to get my first epic character, so... I play. I consider myself a casual player, and uh, just do my own thing and not worry about it too much. Uh, I need to put my comms in the bag. Oh, really? Silkia? Ah, uh, 
yes. Well, that can be a problem. I find in Vaughn's, though, people usually don't care or notice, really. They don't check up as much as some other raids do, but... Especially, well, particularly in Epic. Um, unless you try something like you have 200 hit points, you're level 20 and trying to run Epic Elites. That's a bit of a difference. Yeah, You'll get there. Like I said, I don't know how many years it took me to get to Epic, but it, it was several. Um, I just got to Epic finally this past year. I've been playing the game off and on pretty much since I went free to play, I believe. What am I doing? I'm looking for a uh, search. Make sure I have three search. My tome is three, so this should work from three to four. I have, this is my highest level character, my only epic, my next highest is 15 or 16, I have a couple around the 13 to 15 or 16 range, and the rest of them were like 7 to 10, except for there's like a level 2 that I made to play with a friend who hasn't been back since started, so, kind of a wasted slot there. I have 15 characters in 13 slots because I was briefly vi VIP. Um, let's see what else. Um, yeah. So I'm done with inventory management for the moment. So, um, yeah, let me put a little be right back sign up. Let me create one, I guess, I should say. And let's see what color should we make it. Oh, let's go there. And it should be, I don't know how big, let's say that big. That's too small. Oh well. Let's see. Whoa. Something like that should do. There we go. All right. So, again, hold tight. Well, it's fine to take, you know, bio break, get a drink, whatever. I'll, I'm going to do the same. I will be back in a couple minutes. Should be more than probably two or three, maybe as long as five. We'll see. Thanks for watching. I'll be right back.
All right, I'm coming back here. Alrighty. Take the brake sign off. And again, thanks for watching. This is Seymourgu on DDO stream. I hope that I am saving this to upload later to my YouTube. I know uh, Cordovan usually does that. Uh, from Twitch and saves the highlights and such, which I appreciate. I just also like having a, my own backup on my channel and my YouTube channel and such as well. Um, it helps sometimes, especially when Twitch is being Twitch. And Vaughn 3, that sounds good to me. I'll go ahead and do that. I want to get into a Spies and a Whiz King, of course, to get the extra P from those. Some really good XP quests. <coughs> Again, feel free to... ask any questions or whatnot in chat. I am watching chat. While well, I go on my XP runs here. Alright, so this should be, well, of course not the pre-quest here, but the actual quest should be EH, so we'll see what champions are like in uh, EH now. And, uh, you know, as far as streaming goes, you don't have to wait until you're in Apex if you want to stream. Stream whatever you want. I try to follow everybody who uh, is streaming DDO. Try to give them a watch when I have the chance to. So the other computer's keyboard light keeps flashing on and off, which is annoying and distracting. Gotta figure out what that's about. See if it's some weird setting or what I have to do to get that to work right. See, several people from that uh, Vaughn are now in this group. Looks like we're waiting for more people to join us at the entrance, which is nice. Well, there we go. Sometimes you get ones where people don't wait, sometimes you get people to do. Join. Everybody's halfway through the quest by the time you get there. But yeah, if there's one thing you don't want to uses your dump stat, it's con. You need to have a decent number of hit points to take those occasional big hits. No matter what your build is, you need 
decent gun. Makes me wonder if it's the uh, champions that are making people uh, wait more than usual. Oh, there's a champion up there. It's already dead. seem to be champions a lot, I've noticed. Which is good, because that's where you have a chance of getting the extra chest, but it's also... Come on, really? Maybe you should be able to pick up champion crowns and turn them in for something, I don't know. I've heard that the champions make Devil Salt a lot more interesting now. Which I would also like to run today at some point. I need to turn game sound down on my headset. Yeah, that helps a little bit. Alright. Wait for his speech and his lightning and... Kill Smellies. <laughs> yeah. That. Sometimes the buff the champions have make them... a lot more interesting and sometimes it just doesn't seem to have any effect. Even though I do have decent reflex, I'm going to hang back here for that. Oh, looks like I still caught some of it. I thought I was out of the range. I think it has ridiculous range. Killing enemies, getting through quests. I do notice that the champions don't seem to be any specifically resistant to uh, trips and stuns and holds and stuff, paralyzed and all that, so that's nice about them. Still use those methods of taking them out of the action.
seen a couple qua uh, four digit damage hits, which is decent for me. It's always nice to see those big numbers pop up here and there. It's really hard to pull off a trip when you're lagging. It works sometimes, just uh, sometimes by the time I throw the trip, he's uh, moved on. And I didn't know that. I usually go the other way on this one. It's weird being on the other side. I used to go on the other way. Yeah, I usually go up that way and hit that uh, collectible up there. But oh well. There was a chest, this one. So that was one, two, three extra chests, which is nice. More loot to send over to my crafter. It's my last resort is to build some uh, sort of demon beating stick through Kenneth crafting, but it'll still be underpowered compared to antique great axe or something like that. Hello red piety. Oh yeah, this is another thing you always want to make sure somebody grabbed the key. So sometimes people don't grab the key and uh yeah. Makes it annoying. Because you have to somebody has to run all the way back. How are you tonight? <laughs> got a couple beholders up there. Looks like we got a named. And again, if I could stop lagging long enough to see where he is, that would be excellent. What is very quiet? <laughs> Did I accidentally hit something on my mic volume? Let's see. Mic volume looks to be all the way up. Yeah. Turn my game up a little bit, maybe that. I'm not used to using this headset, so not exactly sure what the best settings are. Already got him. Oh, the lag. Ah. I did the jump. I should have done the jump. Whew, I don't know how I made that. The lag and all. I've heard 
that uh, sometimes you see the piece of the sort of shadows in here. So I always like to check it just to make sure. And of course, not me that this time, but you know. Nice little snappy business there. I really can't hear game sound through these headsets for some reason, so I'm not sure if that audio balance is good or did. I think I've got one. I usually use the force critical. I think I already have one in this weapon, in fact. thought I did anyway. Not seeing the number come up. If I do, it's not very often. <laughs> uh, lag. So, let's see if they'll give me time to uh, actually meditate here. Not really. This shouldn't be any different than normal. It dies pretty quickly. Even if you don't have the DR breaker. Alright. So, another one down. Not at the moment. I am not set up with that. Um, you have to create another, what do they call it? Source. That's a sub part of your browser window for chat and layer it over your chat window is what I usually do. Your game chat window. Actually lay it over the uh, frame that Cordovan sent out, but it doesn't matter really, as long as you put it over that. Then it does the dual purpose of blocking the chat, your chat, in case of things coming in you'd rather not other people see, and... Alright. Looks like that party's a bust. Which is fun. But yeah. If you look up uh, OBS Twitch chat overlay, you should be able to find some sites and some YouTubes that go over exactly how to do it. It's not that hard. Um, OBS is actually pretty friendly in that regard. Setting things up isn't very hard. You saw me put that uh, break notice up in about 30 seconds, so gives you an idea. If you're just working with text, it's not bad. Oh, speaking of that, I probably should see if this works. Yeah. So this is the current DDO stream schedule. Um, Minion Mondays, Twitchy Tuesdays, Weekly Wednesdays, Fall Fling, Shadow Blues on Saturday, and then Saturday Raid Night. So keep in tune to this channel for all that exciting stuff that happens most weeks. Um, with the holidays coming up, we'll see 
if some things get moved or dropped or whatever. Again, apologize for my delay today and my technical issues, but uh, things happen sometimes. And then me, I'm on Twitch, I'm on YouTube, I have my own site, and I'm on Steam. If you want to check me out on any of those, feel free. Appreciate follows to both this channel and my personal channel, YouTube, and the normal stuff like that. I'm trying to get my own channel started. Um, hardware issue, kind of put that set back, but you know, we'll get there. So, go back and repair. Check the groups out, get my inventory cleared out, see what else we can do for fun. some stuff in the bank, we'll be ready to go. And of course my comms, gotta make sure I put the comms in the bag. They don't automatically go there. Um, yeah. I think I can deal with what I'm not too high about the bank tab thing. I like to have all my stuff there. It's not that big of a deal though, I don't think. Yeah. Grand scheme of things. Used to my work headset that shows you when you're muted. This got to look at it. All right, what do we got here? We have ADQ2 stay at the end. Vaughn 34EH. Eh, I could run. Oh, this is Shishindran Slayers. Don't drink the water EH. Yeah. And Titan showing his uh, stream off. So that's cool. I need to do more shrouds. I haven't done a shroud in a while. So I guess we'll just go snitch then. So I need to work on the uh, whole anti grade X piece, even though it hasn't seen me dropping in the however many times I have run this. Several. I don't, I've done Shroud as, with as few as two people, maybe three. Um, so I'm actually a lot more familiar with how it's supposed to go now. And uh, not st still not sure how you're supposed to solo it with the whole spreading the guys out in the certain parts, but uh, probably could do a solo completion and it just doesn't sound like a whole lot of fun. 
smooth shower runs are nice. I've run into some problem ones which actually taught me the quest a lot more. It's funny, but the smooth ones don't teach you much about how to run it. Yeah, Titan. Come on up. Let's see. We'll throw. Uh, I'm still not used to the controls. Let's see. Party invite to Titan. It's really the ones that are uh, problematic that give you the teaching of how the quest goes, usually. The quick Zerg Fest they just complete. They're nice, but I know the first couple of times I ran Shroud I had no idea at any point what was going on. Yes, Titan, I know. You've got it. I still don't. I'll get up here. Yep. That's the one I'm trying to get. Right now, in fact. Get up here. And I appreciate that's why some people want to go slower through some of the quests. Sometimes to learn them. Sometimes I feel like that, and sometimes I just want to get through it. There's quite a few quests I still haven't done. Uh, some raids I still haven't done. But I did hit over 4,000 favor, I think, last week. So, getting up there in favor, finally. Uh, get that 5,000 favor for the plus 5 tone will be nice. Oh, yeah. Come on. This isn't that hard. I think I might have to wait for you at Kratos, then. If I remember right, you have to gather the whole party up there. Oh, look at everybody aggroing. Isn't that awesome? And I missed my jump to ladder, so they hit me a bunch as I crawl up. Yay. Jeez. Come on, guys, let me go. There we go. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and pop this uh, flask of rum, get rid of that stuff. I've been playing with my build as I've been epic reincarnating and taking slightly different stuff each time just to see what happens. And uh, I went with the whole if you drink, you get extra stuff this time, and I'm really enjoying it. Neutralize poison and. Eh. Just a red dungeon alert, not a big deal. You can fight through those oozes. Come on. No, it's total. Um, I'll bring that up. It's this down here, the total favor. Looks like about 4096 right now. So it's still a long way to 5,000, but it is quite a ways up. Uh, the Once you get over 310 for Harper, you get the uh, Harper agent unlocked. Of course, you have your house K for the bank space and the coin lords for your backpack space and all the other stuff. But uh, total favor is what matters for the 5,000 favor word, which is a plus 5 tome as I understand it.
And as I said, I've been playing this character for several years, so it's been a while ways to get here for it. Ah, uh, Kratos, it's so much fun. Huh. You have to turn the electric off to do that? I thought you had to turn the electric off to get that chest. I believe you get to choose which plus five time it is. That was my understanding of the way it worked, but... Obviously, I've never been there, so I'm not sure. Wiki has some more information, I think. Um, but yeah, if you're not using the DDO Wiki, you really should. It's got some good stuff in it. It is not a Supreme, that's for sure. It is a single stat plus five, as I understand it. I really doubt they'd uh, allow you to get a plus five tome that easily, or Supreme tome that easily, since they're they go for what, 50, 000, or five, 50 bucks, basically. I keep feeling the sneak here. Unfortunately. I'll try it again, see if I can get it this time. And it is not invis, invis does not help, it's actually my sneak score. It's too low. And there it goes again, yep. For some reason, My sneak score is just a bit too. Oh, you know what? I was going to use a plus five, plus three uh, UMD or not UMD stat tome, skill tome. Sorry, you need a plus three skill tome for that, and I keep forgetting to do that. It's on another character. I got it from when I was turning on the cards, and I stacked up a couple of the skill tomes, and uh, haven't done my move silently one yet. What was that? Yeah, there's a Sonic's junk. Yeah, could hope, but I'm pretty sure it's a single stat that you choose. Which is still, you know, plus five to a stat is still pretty big. Getting that much favor is kind of a pain, though. That's one of the reasons I don't want to uh, heroic TR, because uh, I have all that favor that I would lose. I would like to keep it until I at least get one of them. Intercon would be the obvious choices. Yeah, I like this chain, but there's a lot of dialogue you have to wait for. That bites, but kind of expected. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, the cat's yawning and stretching, which means he's gonna bother somebody or something. Or he'll bother us by bothering something, I should say. <laughs> Got a gold festival coin and titan. Those are... You can turn those in now, can't you? You could not that first week, but they turn. you can turn them in now, I think. See what fabulous prizes I get for turning in some of my coins, I guess. Hmm. Well, she want to run Titan. Yeah. If there's a Whiz King or Spies, I want to get in on that. Otherwise, I'm not really. I don't really have a plan on what else to run. Just do my usual Druid Chain and such and such DA and all of that. And. Surprising, there's none of that happening right now. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, let's join Half Sexy's party, Titan. Let's join that, because that's... Even though it starts with Vaughn 3, um, that's okay. It's still XP, right? Are they in already? I think they are. Yep, they're in Blackheart, which makes it convenient. Because they hopefully will still be in there when we hit that and it'll still be cleared. We shouldn't be too far behind them on this one. Ah. So yeah, um, not optimal to run the same quest twice, well, three times two is okay. Take an XP hit for the second run, but two's fine. We're going to actually be running Fawn 3 three times, which trips the uh, um, quest ransack. Because then it would be negative 60% and... Is that right? 0, 20, 40... No, I think it's okay, because I'd only be... No, I, I still have 10%, I think, the next day. Because you get 50% back each day, but each time you run it, you get the negative 20. So it'd be negative 60, and then to get 50 back, 10% isn't horrible. But definitely want to run it once tomorrow or start getting to the point of not great returns. Oh, they waited for us. Isn't that nice?
Good stuff. Thank you, Half Sexy and Crew, for waiting for us on that. I'm muting a bunch because I'm having a snack in the between talking, so if you hear me or you don't hear me for a little bit, that's why. Don't chew in your ear. driver is not correct. It's being really annoying. Is there a chest up there this time? Doesn't look like it. I did get the trip in. That's nice. Thought I missed it there for a second. chest this time. <laughs> Running these quests once or twice a day most days get you pretty used to how they're supposed to go most of the time. wonder if it was because we were in Heroic Elite or if it was the quest itself because I have not seen very many champions and they don't didn't seem to be very hard in what we've run today so far. Just have the dog try to come steal my snack. Let's see if I back out of the way far enough this time. Did I actually disable it? I didn't see the. Come on, lag. Ah, got caught by the droppers. Trying to check OBS, make sure everything looks good over there. game is really flexible. It's kind of nice that, you know, even though the graphics are turned down this low, it runs mostly fine. Really, this machine should be able to handle a little bit better than this. Um, but we'll see if we can 
do a reinstall maybe or something to fix it. The other machine I tried installing through Steam and not through Steam and neither one really worked. So I'm not sure what else I'm going to try there until I uh, look some stuff up and see what suggestions people have from the forums and such. Maybe turning on or off compatibility mode or something, I don't know. Remember something like that at some point. Oh, did we not do the around the corner bit yet? Forgot. We need to do the around the corner bit over here. It's not the guy I wanted to trip. Why am I jumping when I'm hitting E? There we go. Thank you. Now we can go this way and take some guys out. They're going to come to Wednesday, Tuesdays. That's awesome. Come around the corner. Not in mass. It's much better. Here's the collectible I was talking about last time that I usually get. Yeah. Of course this time we're not getting all those chests we did last time. There were quite a few chests last time, I must say. Lag, lag, lag. Yeah, it's one of those things I just go for the door because I know people will get the other stuff. They're not difficult. See myself get danced so far. I think it's more the fact that I'm not in front like I usually am. So they use their spells, and other people get that. Uh, Oh, there we go. Almost 1,300 hit. Oh, beholder. I'll take that. That was fun. With the lag and everything, I'm in the back, so most people are up front of the ones that get danced. Not holding my position like I normally do. There's one there to the left. There's two right here. Huh, that's nice. Two of the runes are right here. One. Somebody probably got the other one already. Nope, they didn't see it. That's two. Somebody else get the third one. <coughs>
Again, lag. It doesn't look to be other people, it looks to be me, which is even more frustrating. At least when it's everybody, you all kind of experience it together. And although it can be bad, you know, in the case of causing a party wipe, it's not as bad as, not as annoying to me as this is when it's just me. Getting stuck. Yep. As many times as I've done this, I still miss that jump sometimes. Or whatever you want to call it, if it's not a jump. I have no idea how I made that, because, yeah. Lagging a bit. Hey, the champion. It's on his butt, on his back, whatever. He does have a couple hit points, though. Let's lock him down again and again until he dies. There we go. See, I'm not really seeing the difference that champions make here on e Epic Hard. Okay, they take one more swing from everybody to kill. Big deal. everybody already we are just walking through these guys oh yeah I'm gonna be looking up some drivers installing those later tomorrow or something it's getting so annoying to have that the whole keyboard has a backlight and every so often it changes from being lit to not and back. That's annoying. Uh, yeah, I had read that they did that. With Blitz, um, I've never used Blitz. Never really understood it. I hated Legendary Dreadnought. I did not like that Destiny at all. Definitely not my kind of thing. So, was that the first one we're doing it again, I think? in on a normal. So after this we'll be doing some other interesting stuff. We'll be doing some of the uh, high XP stuff. That's, uh, I gotta say WizKing is more fun now that I've gotten a lot more better understanding of how it works. Did not like WizKing for a while. I still ran it, not really knowing what I was doing, just because it is such good XP. But since I've run it more and more, I've learned how it works and how the numbering scheme works on this particular server, at least. I've been enjoying it more. Except for my luck with getting Ram tend to get him more often than not, which is annoying. Because I don't have d -door, so getting to the treasures, a run back, and all that junk that just 
isn't fun really. I've taken two. If I get Ray, I might just stay there. Wait for the other things to be killed. Wait for the treasure door to be done, and then do the uh, finish out. Not worry about the. loot on that particular one, even though there's a lot of chests. It hasn't been worth it for me. Particularly when you do it twice in a row. So they're waiting for you to get out. If it's the last quest in what the group's doing, then maybe, but otherwise, eh. By the time I get out of that, back to this near the start to get the, uh, go down the stairs, to go around the side to get to where the stuff is, you know, it doesn't seem worth it anymore. Oh, excuse me. Smashing taken care of. I think what I would like to see is the uh, is scoreboards, leaderboards, when you finish a level, like some other games do, saying, okay, for a party of six that is X level, you guys did, had this many kills and everything for all the bonuses, and your time was this for the speedrun aspect, and that'd be fun to see. Make you want to run quest more optimally or get more kills or whatever it is that you're after. I don't like direct PvP competition, but I do enjoy leaderboard competition sometimes. I was for a while pretty high up on the Mark of the Ninja leaderboards. Uh, on both PC and Xbox 360. Really enjoyed that game. Yep, disarmed it. Stuff's dying before I can get to it. That's fun. Uh, but you know, at this rate, that next level isn't too far away. Level 26, which. Don't think I have any particular gear that goes with that level. Twenty-seven, I do for sure, and twenty-eight for sure, I do. But twenty-six, I don't believe I have much, if anything. Mm. 
Most of what I run isn't that difficult. I don't really run a Epic Elites too much, so... They don't really run the higher level quests that much either. As I said, I'm constantly on Epic Reincarnate, so you have that uh, whole from 20 grind. So it isn't as important to have the top level gear at the high end, and the middling gear just takes up more bank space, really. I don't have enough bank space to keep all that stuff. Leave it, dog. I read, did the enhancements on the SS Barbarian the other day, so I'm ready to play that again. Hopefully, it's more powerful. It looks like there's some stuff that was added that would work well with the build. We'll see how it works out. I didn't really test it, I just sort of played with it and moved on to the next thing. Somebody has it right. Let me look at my loot window. Half sexy has it. Good, at least the party leader has it. Did I go up the way I don't normally go? I think I it did. It's odd. You usually don't go that way. up here. Let's see how many we have. So I already have two. I don't see the other one. Nope. There it goes. Every time I go through that, there's lag. It's a strange spot for lag. The secret there is really not to jump, but just have feather fall on. I want those boots. couple different pairs of boots I want in the game, and that's one of them. Seal the hammer of life, that's nice. Let's 
Some good stuff. <clears throat> Almost missed that so fast. So how my brought was neck was a whiz king. I can't hear the in-game voice. For some reason. <laughs> voice volumes all the way up. Voice playback. Oh, that's why. Alright, so another quest that we can go and start farming there it will be tree bark gold. Yep. I mean for experience. That's right now the uh, best the best must to get. Yeah, the problem with those quests is they take them, take them a, a while. Um you know, mirror's still a good quest on Epic. True, true. But yeah, I mean, the three barrel's not bad. We'd probably run through them a lot quicker on normal. So what are we doing? There's a banker out here in the sands, is there not? Ah, yeah, that's right what we're doing. Right, there. right across from the, where you get the quest from. Oh, now voice is too loud. I'll be right back, guys. I need a glass of water. And okay. no problem. I definitely need to minimize or lower that a bit. It's been very dry here in Colorado. So... Uh, yeah, I don't think you guys are going to have this now that you guys have this here. Is that incoming voice volume? Let's see... How does this work? Uh, we'll just turn that down a bit. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to Sands. We're doing Whiz King. That would be the most obvious answer. We must be doing spies after that. Two whiz kings, two spies. Oh yeah, that'd be some good XP. You think we can squeeze out 400 grand in these three, four quests, Max? We're pretty close, huh? Should be. They're not probably. That's what I need to level two. At least three. This first run would be, yeah, I think it'd be pretty close. We'll pretty be pretty close to level after these four. So those two quests combined for me were about three hundred grand. What's your what's your XP at? Thirty-six, three point six. 
Oh, you don't need to wait. Let's go. Oh, eight. 3.6. Oh, eight. Mm. And 3.6 to one. Yeah, it's about right. Next 13, right? Yeah, that's about, you know, that's what happened when I run, you know, Cortos on the lead. Peg Smasher's on fire. Four new guildies tonight. <laughs> ah. Well, I tell you what, when you come along and kill everything in a burst like that, that means I will never get into my shadow form. I gotta kill something. <laughs> you, know, <road> skill. <laughs> you know, I keep telling them that I can't build up key if they kill all the stuff, and they just totally don't listen to me. But I get, I guess I get no right to complain if somebody kills the hell out of everything. I never like with magic users, and and all I got to do is just kind of run along and actively fight. I'll run up Tower Three. I take one. I got a couple of ones. If anybody gets mummy rot VD while we're in here. One? Okay, I got two. Uh oh, big leg. Kind of helps if I turn my mic on here. Probably four. That one archer just does not like me.
Lag, lag, lag. Wonderful lag. Wonder if more runs will be on EN now in here, just because it's faster. We're not killing champions and such. Yeah, I've tried to do all the breakables in here, and there, unless you've got at least one person in each tower dedicated to doing breakables, it's hard to get the uh, bonus for it. Look, is he spinning or not? Because if he's not spinning, he shouldn't be throwing me around like that. Oh good, it's not him. That's awesome. Couldn't even really tell what was going on. A lot lag, but I guessed right, so... There we go. So two runs of this at 35 there, plus all the optionals. Should be roughly 150. And then two runs of spies should be roughly 150. So yeah, 300 should put me right at level. May have to run DA or something to finish it out, but that's okay. Yeah. Chat has been a little inactive. That's fine though. Can't force interaction. So if you want to interact, cool. If you don't, that's cool too. Do hope you still enjoy watching. Did I want those for somebody? No, those weren't the ones I wanted. There's some goggles like that that I wanted for somebody. I don't remember what they were. And, eh. Nothing really impressive as a pull. Nope. I'll take that detour. Might be slightly faster than me doing it the other way. Hard to say. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. So again, DDO stream schedule. Mondays, Tuesdays. Wednesdays, pretty full. Saturdays, got two people going, two different groups. Something to watch several of the days in the week. 
And again, me. If you like to see more of me, um, read what I do, see my games. I post fairly often to YouTube when things are working right. You can find me there as well. Welcome and thanks for watching. Uh, let's see, what are we doing here? Not bad. So again, I am watching chat if you want to interact. Um, hopefully by next week I will have my primary computer back up and running with DDO and everything. And it'll be a little bit better in that regard. I'll have all my overlays and stuff. But we'll see. <clears throat> Next, we hope we have reincarnated again by then. Somebody still in, or are we ready to go? Looks like we're ready to go. But no one else has gone in yet. Ah, there we go. That was odd, because I hadn't... Uh, I was hovering over, but I didn't touch it yet. I didn't think so, at least. Uh, had some interesting things happening with this mouse. Maybe I didn't. This is a old Naga. Just the plain old regular Naga from a while back. My other machine, I use the older Naga Epic. Which I must say fits my hand better with the largest uh, thingamajig. They have swappable things for it. Can't think of what to call it off the top of my head. But the largest one of those makes it more, much more comfortable than this one. This one's a little bit small. It works. It's got all the buttons, but did everybody go the same size or what? Yeah, probably. So one more of these will go over to Spies in the House, which I, again is one of those quests that when I first ran it, I hated. Did not know what the heck I was doing at all, and now I find I really enjoy it. But you know what you're doing, and quests can become much more enjoyable. Other than that, this is just a standard Tower 1 run of Wiz King. Chamber of Raum. Oh my gosh, and lag. Chamber of Raum and lag. Good name for it. Again, if you need to take off or whatever, no problem. Uh, <coughs> There's usually an archive of this up fairly soon, a couple hours after broadcast, or if nothing else, there should be another one tomorrow that Cordovan does. I usually try to upload it right after I finish, and it takes only a couple hours to upload. It's They aren't huge files. Uh, when I use OBS, Definitely larger when I use uh, Shadow Play. That's what I'm trying to think of. 
So there's a the guy out there casting magic missiles, and one of these, I can't remember which, it's that one, isn't it? Yeah, there's my shield. I find that helps a bit to get around that stuff. Now that I have enough UMD for it, I did make sure to concentrate on UMD as I was leveling. And I have a plus four UMD tome as well. So between that and the epic skill gains, doing pretty good with my UMD. For it not being one of my primaries. Is he already up? He's already way up there. Man, that lag. It's pretty bad. Oh my gosh. Stop the lagging. Less lagging, please. Please, game, please. A little less lagging while you're tossing me around. Like, I can't control what I'm doing. And there we go. And who do we have this time? Oh, it's Rayum. Awesome. Told you my luck. I've been about 50% lately, I think. For all there is more like 75. Well, actually, I think I got him twice in a row, so I was 100 at that point, but I think I'm back down to like 50% now. In the past couple weeks. And again, I'm not going to worry about the loot on this run then, because I got Ram. I don't feel like running all the way back. See, he's got a detour so he can get back and get the loot. I'll just stay here. The Phylactari. Hmm. That's fun. Somebody's coming to visit. Come on in, dude. Yeah, that's it. Come on in. Oh, pfft. Can I even hit him up there? That's kind of cool. I trip him and he falls up the... F yeah. That was weird. Hey, Gas Exterminator 3. It's always fun when those monster manual things pop up. Uh, my UMD is up to 35 now, which is starting to get where it's useful because, ah, uh, well, because my hovering is not working. That's annoying. And there's another uh, guy in there. How about that? What? I said yes. Oh, I forgot to dump my other one. I hate when that happens. Yes, I want to destroy the phylactery. Get out of my way, wizard. Oh, good. I thought we'd already been done. Good thing I didn't. I was thinking we were already done. Did we really do the tower that fast? <laughs> Didn't something were that fast. So anyway, um, what I was trying to say is... Wherever I stuck them in all this inventory mess... 
So I have a hundred percent chance for Ray's dead now. Which is the important thing. As long as you can get something that can raise people. Um, I can do knock, of course, that's only a twenty-four. Only twenty for shields, so those are useful. Do we do it all now? Nope. They've destroyed the gins, but not the uh guys there. And somebody's going to do the treasure chamber. Which they did, so I can pick up the factory now. Viola. So that was that puts me at three eight eighty five out of forty fifty. Two spies should do it, I would imagine. Yeah, I had to have a plus four UMT dome to get that f high UMD because again, I'm a fighter monk so umd is not a class skill so i don't have many points i can put into it really why is finish not working really why is finish not working i'm not clicking anything oh that's awesome I can't finish out. I'd really like to have some form of D-door. But I don't want to run in Shadow Dancer. So that's kind of out. I have to run all the way out here out the door. Just because finishing out will not work for me at the moment for some weird reason. It happens once in a while, but it's never fun, especially when you can't take somebody else's teleport back to town or something. I keep meaning to uh, farm for a Royal Guard mask and just uh, don't like that quest enough to do it. <laughs> really, it's not that fun. I'll say it's interesting, but I don't enjoy that quest. Enough to farm. Now Tempest Spine to farm for the Invis Cloak that I have, that was fine. I did not mind that at all. And somebody the last person just left, so I'm not too far behind everybody. Get over to Spies. Maybe I can finish... Oh man, if I have to run back to town, that'll be really annoying. Let's see if my recall works here. Yes, thank you. So for some reason the finish didn't work, but the recall did. No idea why. Back to the airship. Quickly repair. Get a couple things out of my inventory if I need to. And then. Actually, I probably don't need to worry about that. I would bet I am okay. Oh. Always, always retake the quest. Because generally, when I join a group, they're already out there, so. It's better for everyone involved if I just take the quest now. should be a level, so I may call it after that. Tempted to do a DA run, but I also want to call it and uh, get my other machine up and running so I can play like I normally do and stream like I normally do. 
Uh, I'm going to say I'm okay for spies. Don't need to do inventory or anything. Besides the fact if you wait too long on spies, they might already be halfway through it, and then it's annoying. To be that far behind, I think. At least it is to me. I find it annoying to be that far behind when you're on that particular quest. Don't mind being in front by a, quite a bit, but behind, eh. No thanks. Especially if somebody's pulled the stupid lever. Are we already here? Oh, good. I beat everybody. That's good. Mm. Is that a cat behind my head? It is a cat behind my head. Hey. How you doing, cat? Alright. So hopefully these two spies rooms put me to level 26. If not, I may run something quick to get the level. Then again, I may not. And there we go. Let's see what XP it shows, knowing that we'll have Killstorm. Um, I have two laptops. One I got from Power Notebooks and one I got from Groupon. They are both Asus gaming laptops. The newer one I've had for mm, two-ish years, the old one I've had for five-ish years, something like that, maybe longer. Um, I got my new SSD and RAM from Micro Center this particular time. They really don't have many other upgrades in that. Yes. I'm running on my older laptop at the moment because my newer one, I just had to buy a new SSD and... Well, I didn't have to buy the RAM, but... I had to buy a new SSD over the weekend because my old one died. Died a horrible death. Like SSDs do. They die suddenly and completely generally speaking. But considering that, that SSD was five-ish years old, I don't really complain about it. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can tell on stream. I know I had to reduce the quality a little bit, but this is not my normal resolution to play in and all that. So, So yeah, um, I was trying to get all everything reset up and configured by today, and it just didn't happen. DDO does not want to work on that machine at the moment, and so I'm, I vaguely remember having to do some tweak or something to get it to work, and I don't remember what it is. The more I think about it, the more I think that's probably the problem. I'll have to look that up and see what I can do about it, but uh, yeah. Both the high res install and then copying over all my files from my other machine, and as well as the um, Steam install, neither of those worked. They did the same thing. Doesn't matter which launcher I use or any of that, it does not want to work. Everything else seems to work. Relatively fine. I was on their OBS over there for a bit. Oh, that was almost really bad because of lag. Um, but my audio wasn't working. My voice wasn't working, so I had to hop over here, get this briefly set up.
I know we went for the thing. If I would have known, I would have gone for it. I didn't realize. Uh, they fell off. Okay, I'll go for it. Well, except I fell off. Yeah, I'm doing all kinds of good today. Somebody else got it. Oh my gosh. I really, really did that, didn't I? That's so annoying. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Wait a minute. I didn't have... Mm, that's part of the problem. I didn't have my feather fall on. Oh look, somebody put the garbage down. I haven't seen anybody do that in a while. Usually well beyond this by now. Yeah, I've been thinking about... I actually have a case and a couple of power supplies and some case fans and some stuff that I've gotten on clearance from various places, but uh, I haven't had a desktop in quite a few years. I don't really miss most of it. Um, actually doing pretty well with just the laptops. Occasionally things like, you know, built-in storage being able to put a couple hard drives in. I mean, both my these uh, machines have SSDs and hard drives, so they have two drive bays for that and an optical bay, so it's not like I'm hurting for that, but, you know, putting a couple four terabyte drives in would be nice to solve any storage needs and such. I love being able to do that. Ignore the grease, ignore the air jets, and just get down here and pull the lever without having to wait for somebody to disarm the traps. It's a lot of fun. Do however want to heal up before these next guys, just in case. Yeah, just in case those guys are around. They can be a slight pain. Until the meteors kick in anyway. Hmm. So I've been toying with the idea of a desktop. I really want to run a triple monitor setup and run DDO in that and see what it's like. I've seen screenshots and it looks awesome. Are we going for the optional chest? We usually don't go for the optional chest. Nope. Doesn't look like it. Take the opportunity here to cocoon again. Are we getting the optional chest or no? I don't understand what's going on. Yeah, um, haven't tonight really noticed it, but uh, last week definitely on uh, my Guild Static group night we're doing all the quests at level on Elite where possible, and uh, we definitely notice the champions. And I think for the most part I'm okay with them. The one thing, well the one thing that surprised me was how many there were on Heroic Elite. The next thing that surprised me was how hard they can hit, and how much harder than the boss of the entire quest they hit. That I thought was a little much. Um, other than that, I should be okay on spell points. Um, I haven't really noticed them. Well, we're doing a lot of heroic normals for speed tonight, it looks like, so we wouldn't really see them. 
on most of these. We have done some uh, epic hards. Epic normal? Yeah, epic normal is what I was trying to say. We have done some epic hards. Um, I didn't really notice. I mean, they were there, but I didn't really notice them hitting all that hard. But I was running Heroic Elite, la Elite last week. I definitely noticed them. Even when I was running that the new mass quest, uh, the free one, on this character, on Heroic Elite, I noticed those champions a lot. They're the only things that were really dangerous. As over leveled as I am on it, but they do pack a punch sometimes. It's a really funny sight, everybody shooting at somebody else, even though I'm the closest one, really. Yeah, I really haven't taken time, like, when we were on... What were we doing last week that we were... Oh, the second part of Lord's March, that's what we were doing. And, uh, yeah, there really wasn't time to examine. Like, an assault on Summerfield, it was just ridiculous how many we had. That was the first one we did last week with the champion, so it was uh, quite a shock. Previous weeks we had just pretty much walked through all the mobs on Elite, and then last week all of a sudden, oh, wait a minute. I actually have to take a minute here and group up and swarm them while they're trying to swarm us and such. Make sure we have the healer keeping everybody's hit points topped off and all that. Which previously we didn't really bother with, um, honestly, so... My character on that is a first life monk. The SOs is a first life dwarf, or sorry, druid. And uh, we've got everybody else has at least one TR under their belt. That's cool, Titan. The Monster Minions completions are awesome. I do really enjoy them. I've completed some things, I think, but I don't check very often. Well, I, can, uh, I did think I was going to wait, but uh, it caught me anyway. That was odd. Uh, that's what usually happens. I can't see where I'm going all of a sudden on the electric floor. <laughs> Jumping over things, that's always fun. Well, if you've got that one, then I'll take this one. so I can lay the smack down on you. There we go. Let's see what the situation is here. I believe I'm going to run... Oh, crap. <sighs> this section is horrible when you're lagging. Actually, this whole quest is horrible when you're lagging, but this particular section doesn't leave too much room for it. Whoa, somebody died. Why did somebody die? I've got most of the aggro over here, so they can't hit me. That's why I like to do this one this way. I can get most of the aggro. Save some other people some damage. Let us see. Uh, 
uh, player races. It's under human. Yeah, looks like I've got them all. It's a lot of fun to get random XP and such. TP and Astral Shards. I enjoy those. Looks like it's about time to come out and kill these guys. Is it, oh, there's a champion. How about that? What do they have on them? True saying seems to be on way too many of them. Ah. Did not work at all. Bypassing them. Some people stay and fight them, some people bypass them, some group them in ruin or some energy burst or whatever. Seen the people do different things on these guys. Like that. Lag, 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 lag. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can tell where I normally hang out by the monster manual entries that I have completed. I don't have a lot of, like, aberrations and such. Voices, everybody. And 75k pretty much for that. Will put me within range. Looks like of another one. And just take the D door. This is really convenient since the quest giver is right outside. You can turn it around real quick to get another run in. My comms are in the bag. Alright, yeah, I think uh, this one last run of spies, and then I'm going to call it. So, welcome, hang out, chat some more, um, watch this last run. And I do appreciate everybody watching, um, following both this channel and my personal channel. Glad to have you. Again, there's plenty of other activity on this channel during the weeks. Uh, Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays is our biggest day. And then Saturday. And of course, if you want to find me, I'm here, there, and everywhere. I have a Twitter. I don't usually use it. Better contact me through Twitch or YouTube or something like that. The archive of this should be up fairly shortly. I um, think the damsels are on tonight. They're every other week, so I don't remember which weeks they are and are not off. I think this is an on week. Oh, I still have feather fall on, don't I? 
This is a long drop of feather falling. That is for sure. Hmm. I hope I muted that. Didn't want to sneeze in your ear. Somebody's already up there. Well, somebody else already has aggro. Let's go ahead and help them out. Love those comments just come just as you're finishing somebody off. It's a perfect time for them. Well that dude had no chance. If you're going, I'm going to let you go and just make my jump over here. Alright, where am I? I am up here where I want to be, sort of. I want to be around the side here. And up. And not lagging is where I would like to be. That would be nice. The grind is real. I actually think I enjoyed my break from DDO as enforced as it was and sudden and unexpected and all that. I've been meaning to read some books anyway, so it gave me a nice opportunity to do that. Now that I'm back, starting to get into that. All right, let's get this done. Let's get that next level. Let's get the reincarnation done. Get back to the grind. Let's go, go, go. Kind of thing. They saw me, how about that? Let's kill some of them. <sighs> if I can kill them through the lag, it'd be awesome.
Yeah, my back started to bother me too. In a different position with this setup. Oh, come on. Was that a treasure bag back there or something? No, it wasn't. Okay. Thought it might have been. Lag, lag, lag. So, yeah. Shorter stream today. With all the technical difficulties taking up some of the time. Looks like you only got hmm, three ish hours in. Normally try to go for four or more, but not tonight. Just not in the thing. The way things are happening tonight, just not happening. Maybe next week will be better. Hopefully it will. And I'll hope to find some other time to stream as well during the week or weekend, depending on how things go. Still looking for that second regular slot at least, but for now I'll just say it. I'll try to stream at other times and uh, see where we go. So yeah, I used the animation and then lagged and then actually did use the valve. That was odd. Very odd. Take the valve. Huh. That was really odd. <laughs> Alrighty. That is huge, huge, horrible lag. Wow, that was ridiculous. That was really horrible. I saw myself four different places, none of which I could do anything about. Oh, I miss a button step when I don't have it. I really miss it. Tossing the dwarf. That's great. Oh, am I on something I can get to the floor with? There it is. Yeah, I yeah, I first did this quest without evasion. That was the problem. That was horrible. I hope I'm where I think I am with this lag. Out a cocoon just in case. Yep. Lag is part of the game now. Always has been, I guess, to some degree. 
Did I make it up or not? I did not make it up. I made it back down. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, the uh, thing hasn't done yet. No, I thought we did. Are we glitched? We're glitched, aren't we? Or somebody didn't turn the valve. Somebody didn't turn the valve, that's what it is. No, turn the valve while you're over. <laughs> Alright, I'll do it. That's cool. I got it. Did I get it? Got pushed off by the wind gust and I lagged a bit, so yep, got it. Alright. Oh my gosh. Really. Really. This is being annoying. Should have enough to get through these. Oh, yep, somebody took care of some of them. I have in my bio that I am recording and or streaming. My character bio on DDO, I mean. Not my Twitch bio or whatever. Because that would be redundant, wouldn't it? Well, there it is. Level. Ding and all that happy stuff. Epic chest away. Okay. Somebody has a D-door or did our D-door person leave? Or is not here yet? There it is. All right, let's just say thank you to the group. Wow, lag even just typing. is right here. I retake this one, too, because I run it so often. See those people who teleport just going wherever they need to go real quick. Yeah, that's not me. I gotta run everywhere. So, th that'll pretty much wrap up the stream for tonight. Um, I'm obviously gonna take a level and do some inventory management and repair and all that, but I'm pretty out of it at the moment, and I still have more of my dinner to eat and all that, so I'm just going to call it here. Thanks everyone for watching. Again, oops, keep in mind the uh, other streams or other times this channel is active with the other community streamers. Oops, and I'm completely misclicked on that. There we go. Uh, so, Minion Mondays with Blue Queen. Tuesdays with me, um, Tuesday nights, or slash early Wednesday mornings, every other week with the damsels, uh, 
Cordovan, weekly Wednesday lunchtime live streams, plus the fall fling. On Saturday, Shrouded Palooza with Bonnie, and then Saturday Red Night with Queen. Uh, appreciate you watching anytime any of the casters. Uh, appreciate it as well. Follow us, uh, our individual channels, as well as DDO stream if you want to be notified when things start up. You'll get that notification that somebody's streaming, and that helps when you feel like watching. Uh, then there's me. Here's my links to my Twitch channel, my YouTube, my personal site, and uh, my Steam profile. Just see what games I have and all that stuff. Uh, thanks, Killstorm. And uh, yeah, keep in mind, contact us. Uh, we're happy to respond, answer questions. We like interacting during our streams and all that. Um, and final reminder that yeah, this stream should have an archive up. Next three or four hours should be up, hopefully, um, as well as whenever Cordovan does so when he's at work in the morning. Um, he usually has those up by the time he streams. Um, I don't have any other news, I think, so good night, uh, happy adventuring, and uh, see you next week, if not before. Thanks all.